right, Shalom. Shalom. Before we begin, we would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Citation to the hope for the elect scattered abroad, preaching this word and this doctrine in truth and sincerity. All right, I'm the Brother Hakam. Brother Amawan Ibad. Gabor. And we are the brothers from GMS Miami, uh, the heralds of Yahweh Shai 144. All right, coming back again through the spirit to make another lesson and another video. All right, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, as you can tell, man, we got a lot of stuff going on. All right, there's a lot of headlines going on. All right, we got uh, all hell breaking loose right now in Russia. All right, um, we got a lot of natural disasters going on. You know, we got Puerto Rico right now with, with no electricity. All right, we got earthquakes in Mexico. All right, we got another typhoons in japan mm -hmm. typhoons in japan hell storms it's all types of hell storms wildfires there's a lot of stuff going on right now mm -hmm. okay and what we're seeing is really uh you know the lord really judging these nations man mm -hmm. including our people and these heathens yep. all right so that that shows us that we're seeing signs that we at the end of these days mm -hmm. all right so the lord is coming back soon man and if you're not if you haven't repented yet well your time is running short because we're in that time of grace and that window is about to uh, it's about to close mm -hmm. all right you got something? Yeah, yeah. This is second Ezra 9 and 1. Mm -hmm. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Mm -hmm. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, mm -hmm. then shalt thou understand that is it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's we're seeing that right now because guess why Yahweh Shai said that in Matthew 24 when the disciples are asking starting from verse 3. When shall be the part of the signs of the times? You know, when when shall be that, that coming and you know restoring of the kingdom? When you see these signs, man, the wars and rumors of wars and uh, earthquakes in diverse places, as you read in the second Ezra, the ninth chapter, these signs, they are the signs. So we in that time. That time is now. That time is right now. We live in it. We we going through it, man. But the scriptures say the end is not yet. But we going through it. But you got to go through it to get to it. <laughs> you got it, brother. It says, then shalt thou understand. So you're supposed to, if you're measuring the time diligently, you're supposed to understand, okay, now is the time that the highest is beginning to visit the world. Mm -hmm. Now uh, 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 it's time for you to get your shit together. Right. Right? Like uh, what it says in uh, that Second Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 4. Matter of fact. I get it. Go ahead, get that for me, brother. Sure. <clears throat> oh, you want me to start at? Uh... Start at the top. There's the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 4. It's like a chapter 3, you said, right? No, 4. Yeah, 4. It should be 4. No. There's only a chapter. Oh, 1 no, Thessalonians. Okay, time. There's the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 1. No, For no. Where is it? Where oh, 5, 5, 5. So, so like it. 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5. Okay. Time. There's the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren. Pause. Times and seasons. Mm -hmm. All right. So everything is on, on in, in seasons and in times. When you read Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus three, there's a time and a Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. So like, yeah. uh, for, it's, a, it's a time and a place and a season for everything. That's right. Right. And now is the time that the Lord is be, is is beginning to visit the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. for, when they, for when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Mm -hmm. But ye, brethren... Back, because he's writing to the brethren. The, the, these different churches right. the church of Thessalonica the, the, Paul sent out these different letters to the different churches go ahead but ye brethren are not in darkness why? why are we not in darkness? because the Lord has revealed opened our eyes and given us the eye salve right. to understand what's going on right in verse 3 and 7 surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants the prophets that's right the so, Lord not leaving right. us blindless he gave us the he gave us the light and the eyes off the sea Revelation 3 18 mm -hmm. you see you got it go ahead but ye brethren are not in darkness what's that darkness 
that darkness is not the the your no your, understanding exactly. So uh, can you jump? Let me uh let, let, let's let's precept that uh, Isaiah twenty nine. Get Isaiah 29. Don't we get it? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm looking for it right now. Isaiah 29 and 10. It says, For the Lord Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you are physically alive, but you're asleep. Right. Spiritually. And have closed your eyes. Right. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. So your prophets and your seers, are your, your eyes are covered. Going back to your prophets and your seers, the, the Christian pastors, mm -hmm. and the people that you adhere to and believe to and listen to, these different um, economists and these different people that y'all swore and lived by, they tell you, oh, yeah, you know, they give you false dreams and, 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 and say, oh, yeah, America's mm -hmm. going to bounce back and buy stocks and, and, and you know, mm -hmm. It'll all be over soon. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 60 and 1. Mm -hmm. Back him up with Isaiah 60 and 1. The Lord, the scriptures speak about gross darkness to people, but the Lord's people, those who are adhering to the words of the Lord, keeping the statutes and commandments to the best of their ability and walking in the righteous way and looking for the old path, the Lord say, Arise and shine, for the night light has come, but gross darkness is going to be on these people. You got it. Isaiah 16 and 1? 16 and 1. 16 and 1. Oh, 16. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1. Yeah. Arise, arise, shine, for thy light is come. Yeah, that's going into the elect, right? And those who understand them to the spirit and power of Yahweh, who the light, the Lord shine the light unto them. The, 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 the elect, you got to go read on. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Mm -hmm. Who is the Lord? light? Yeah, Yahweh Shai. There you go. See, that light is shining on the ones who the Lord wants, the, the, right. the, the one third, man. Mm -hmm. Those who are small, the remnant that's going to be saved, that's going to be delivered. Who Yahweh Shah is coming back for. The Lord says he's going to send his son. He's going to send them a savior because uh, we're crying out for what's happening to us in Egypt, man, which is uh, 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 modern day America. We we behind enemy lines. Yet this day, book of Baruch 3 and 8, yet this day we are in our captivity where we are scattered for our reproach and the curse. So we behind enemy lines. We need to be delivered, man, so we can praise the Lord freely. You see? But these people have us behind enemy lines and ruling over us. And right now they want to control our minds. They want to control our thoughts to the point that they want they want they want to put the C chip in us, man. The C hip. The C hip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see? They they have they have more than, than 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 anyone could wish for, but they still want more. They want to control your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So the Lord said you coming to deliver his people, man. Uh right, read on, brother. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Mm -hmm. And gross darkness the people mm -hmm. But the Lord shall arise upon thee And his glory shall be seen upon thee Right, those that who have the light That's why the scriptures say Let your light so shine before men And you may glorify your father which is in heaven That light is going to be seen upon you That's why That's why even in the time of Jacob's trouble I mean, shit really hit the fan The woman, even the woman uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 They're going to draw to you Because why? They're going to see that you got this light Everything is falling down around you But this person, he still seems like he, he just he just good no matter all of this destruction that's happening this brother is just good well, well shit even now you got things happening people bugging out right. losing their mental 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 health is at an all time low mm -hmm. people taking antidepressants and and we're rejoicing in the spirit why because we understand we mm -hmm. know we're insiders right you yep. know how Esau got his insiders on the left hand side right. mm -hmm. well we're the insiders on the right hand side mm -hmm. we know what the what our elite, who's Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? That's right. Is about to do. That's right. <laughs> it says, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and His glory shall be seen upon thee, mm -hmm. and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. That's it on that. Yeah, that, that's that's the point. The Lord is the Lord is is, 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 is going to shine the light on His elect, man. But gross darkness is going to be on these people when shit is defined. That's why the scriptures say it's going to be a crying and, 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 and for wine in the streets, man. Meaning this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. Because why? The scriptures say, "Wherewithal shall the young man cleanse his way by taking heed unto thy word." By this word is how you're going to be able to navigate your way in the time of Jacob's trouble when shit hit the fan and things go haywire. 
Okay, Isaiah uh, 33, get that. While you write that, so Isaiah 33 and 6, because that's what you're going to need. And the scripture tells you the most high loves none than him who dwells with wisdom. You're going to be able to, the spirit going to have to guide you in the times that we're coming into. It's not going to be of yourself, bro. Mm -hmm. It's going to be of the Lord. That's why the scriptures say, Proverbs 3, uh, uh, 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. You got to trust. You really got to have that faith in the Lord and lean not on thine own understanding. Uh, acknowledge him in all thy ways and he will direct thy path. Acknowledge him meaning saying, if the Lord will this and if the Lord will that, because you know it's not of yourself. You don't give life and you don't give breath. So it's of the Lord, man. You have to acknowledge the Lord in all things. You got it. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. There you go. And strength and and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. And that's what's gonna keep us stable in the times to come. Okay, when these people them losing their minds and pulling their hair out their head, okay? Yeah, because they didn't sought the Lord. They didn't sought the true power. Okay, the scripture tells you the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and are safe. Okay, but they didn't sought. That power, they went down into Egypt. You see? Oh, oh uh, after Joe Biden, Joseph Biden told you that the, the pandemic is over. Right. And all of you risked your lives to take that that, that serpent's juice. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. he just told you, oh, you know, it's over now. Right. <laughs> so all, all of you risked your lives <laughs> right. for no reason. A right. lot of you died. A lot of you uh, are permanently injured. Yep. My goodness. A lot of you are, are injured. You're not even saying anything. Right. And now it's just over. See? But you failed the first test. But there's another test coming. Right. So you better pray to the Lord. Right. And tell him to uh, ask him to give you some strength. Right. Because if you fail this one, mm -hmm. your ass is grass. Right. Because you still got that great spirit. Mm -hmm. You still have liberty to seek the Lord. Because the five of the word ain't fully in you. you. The man of the Lord are still out on the highways and byways. So you still have a chance to, to repent. Yeah. You see? Right. So you, you you a lot of you messed up doing the time of the pandemic when you had time to sought the Lord. You know, the scripture goes into that Isaiah uh, where you was early, second Ezra's the ninth chapter, if you want to get that. Second Ezra's nine? Yeah, jump down, start from seven and, and, and end it end it by twelve. So they can see what's what's the difference between the one third and the two thirds. Because there's a difference. Those who take in heed to this word and seeking after the Lord. They have a different reward. That's why the Lord say, I, I hold fast that thou have. You know, the Lord say, he so come. He come in with his reward to give to each other, to each man what his work shall be. Roughly paraphrasing. So whether it be good or whether it be bad, the Lord come in with a reward for you, man. Start at verse 7. We're going to get the elect first. I don't want to wrap this up with those men. Second is 9 and 7. Mm -hmm. And everyone that shall be saved uh -huh. shall be able to yeah. escape. And that's the elect. Everyone that shall be saved, the elect, though, the one third men, women, and children who the Lord chose. You got it. And by faith, mm -hmm. whereby ye have believed. There you go. You see, I mean, you have to believe because Hebrews chapter 6 and verse uh, 6, 11 and verse 6 says, It's impossible to please the Most High without faith. The Lord say, When he returns, shall he find faith on earth. So, faith, which is a gift. Okay, Ephesians 2 and 8. That's what you're going to need to pass the test. You, got, you have to, you have to uh, uh, strive for truth unto death and the Lord say, you'll fight for thee. So you got to be willing to die to, 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 to call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord say, if you deny him <laughs> in, the front, in, the, in the face of men, he's going to deny you in the face of his father, roughly paraphrasing. So you got to keep that faith. You're going to have to keep that faith. Even to the end, even if, even if it costs you your life, what the what the hell is he here to live for, man? Okay, at the end of the day, if you if you want to be in Esau's world, you're gonna have to be jobbed up. I mean, we're talking about this last pandemic job, we're talking about that C hip man, the the the, the right? The the, the the digital oh, yeah, you see, it's coming, right? Which is coming. It's com well, it's it's here, but it's coming, right? You know, it's already here, but they gotta, you know. Uh, Make, make it make, make it mandatory. Right. So if you want to live in a world where a man can fuck, know all your thoughts and, and what you're gonna do next, and he could cut you off and and, and 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 just turn you off from society and go into your what? bank account and take what you want and shut you out and do all that shit. What the what you what is the, what's the living that, that for? That's what we've been telling you, Jake. That right. It's it's about control with these people. Right. Cause he got everything. He got all the money, the resources, mm -hmm. the power, mm -hmm. you know, but he wants to, he wants your soul. Hey, it says that in Habakkuk chapter 2. 
it, 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 it's so it's just listed up to him is it, you know it's not right it's not right it says, it says he enlarged his, his desire as hell hell is mean, meaning the grave it, the grave could never be full so it, it just doesn't matter yeah. this man he want your soul he want everything man but but that's why the lord the lord is coming back right that's right you know the lord got to come back to stop these devils and that's what we've been telling you right we're not going to somehow all figure this out as so-called negroes latinos and native americans come together huddle up and say all right mm -hmm. we're gonna all take this devil down it's not going to happen that way no the lord is going to come and, and take this devil down they, they went too far mm -hmm. they had us enslaved for over 500 years they're way ahead of us with with military might all that stuff and his yep. blessing is the sword you're not going to beat him with the sword his blessing is the sword yep. what you got he gave you Exactly. <laughs> so what you think he got? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils. Right. So that means that from from you were predestinated, man. You're going to be preserved because you were predestinated from the foundation of the world. The, the Lord knows those spirits who are of the elect. That's right. You see, read on. And shall and, so, and shall see my salvation in my land uh -huh. and within my borders. Uh -huh. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right. So for edification, say you read Ephesians, the first chapter, it tells you that the elect is predestinated from the foundation of the earth. Uh -huh. So those who are the elect are going to be activated in these times. You, the spirit of the prophets are subject on the prophets. They're going to come back. Uh -huh. And even those who are not prophets, they just, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord uh, 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 preserved them for himself, man. If you say this is a righteous spirit. I go, I need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this spirit, and I'm gonna preserve that spirit. Yep. That's that's the one third. Now you have a different set of people. You have you have the rebellious house of our people who just want to remain wicked. Okay, all of these things that happening in the world, they don't care. They want to continue to smoke weed. They want to continue to 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 to. to commit adultery with their friend wife knowing that it's their friend wife but they just want to make just have sex with them with some gucci slippers on knowing it's their friend wife they don't care they don't care they, they'll humble her knowing that it's their friend wife or they just we, we remaining in wickedness man yeah. shooting and murdering one another robbing one another and they ain't gonna stop mm -hmm. they ain't gonna worry. stop but that's that's what the lord got something for all you niggas you know the scriptures say something. yeah proverbs chapter 1 verse 22 how long will you simple ones would you love simplicity right and the answer for that is Isaiah 6 and 11. Okay, the Lord said, until he make the land desolate, man, roughly paraphrasing. That's why the Lord is about to raise up Esau. Mm -hmm. and that's what. Get, and he, that's right. Mm -hmm. and, and he about to get you. Right. Come, come get that scripture real quick. Uh, Psalms 17 and 13. And now we're going we're gonna to go into the rest of that. So what we read right now is from 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter. But uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Zechariah, the 13th chapter, and the 8th verse say, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts meaning two thirds of our own people, Israelites. The scripture tells you that judgment shall begin at, begin at the house of God, man. Those who know they're Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. You see, so that two thirds is 66.6%. We just, we just went into the one-third, those who are going to be delivered. We're getting ready to go into the ones who are going to be destroyed because they don't want to listen to the words of the Lord. But get that scripture come real quick. This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Arise, O Lord. Right. Disappoint him. Uh-huh. Cast him down. Right. Deliver my soul from the wicked, mm -hmm. which is thy sword. That's right. So the wicked, which is in rulership right now, Esau, Edom, who have all the weapons, okay, which his weapons came from Isaac, who blessed him with the sword and told him, by his sword, by his sword he shall live. This man being living by his sword. Zechariah chapter 11 and 5 says, whose possessors slay them. Okay, they've been slaying us. If you look, it's, it's, it's prophecy. You see it in the street all the time. Cops shooting down Jake. Nothing never comes out of that, man. Never ever comes out of that. But the Lord said he's going to get Isaiah, um, Isaiah 65 and 12. It's not at 11, it's like 11 and 12. The Lord said he's going, he going to give this man a charge over you, man, to destroy you because you ain't listening to his words. Go ahead. This is Isaiah it. chapter 65, verse 11. Mm hmm. But yea, are, the, are they that forsake the Lord. Y'all forsake the Lord, man. That's what happened. Go ahead. That forget my holy mountain. Uh-huh. That prepare a table for that troop. Mm-hmm. And that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Right. So the sword with Esau is billing right now. He's billing it for the Lord. He is the Lord's sword. Esau, uh, what's it called? A Syrian, let's say a Syrian, the rod of my anger, man. 
Yep. This is the Lord's sword. Yeah, yeah the, so when Esau hand down his ass whooping, that's really going to be from the Lord. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he's going to, Esau is going to kick your ass, but it's going to be from the Lord. That's what it is. <laughs> he's going to slaughter you, a lot of you jakes and, and throw y'all into them camps mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. hip you so those missiles can get you. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. That's going to yep. be the final judgment. Yeah. You see? You got it, brother. Read on. Verse 11. But yea, are they that forsake the Lord, mm -hmm. that forgot my holy mountain, that prepared table for that troop, and that furnished the drink offering unto that number. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, therefore will I number you to the sword. The Lord said you're going to number you to the sword. You think it's a game? That time is sharply upon us, man. Read on. And yea, shall all bow down to the slaughter, mm -hmm. because when I called... Yea, did not answer. Right, and how the Lord calls to his men, to the prophets, men, mm -hmm. on the highways and the byways, telling you, say so you repent and seek the Lord because destruction is coming, man. No doubt about it. You're going to need a hedge of protection. Remember, the scriptures say, wrath and mercy come of the Lord. So what's going to be your choice? What you going to do? Mm -hmm. you're, going to, you're, going to, you're going to seek the Lord or you're going to continue to do what you're going to do? Yeah, what, what, what the world calls these natural disasters, they, these things are happening. That's right, and that's the Lord visiting. And, and these things are going to happen even worse. Mm -hmm. That's right. And scriptures say that's the beginning of sorrows. Exactly. So these are what they call natural, which is really from the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're going to be worse. And a lot of you, Jakes, are going to be without, like, like those Puerto Ricans over there. Right. Out without power, without water. You over there calling on Jesus Christos right, right. now. Right, right. Bowing down and praying in front of uh, idols right now. Which is, which is, that's not going to help you. No running water, no lights. Right. Hmm. That ain't a joke, man. Uh, Jackson, Mississippi, no clean water. Right, damn. They over there telling you to boil the water, telling you if you, when you take a bath, make sure it don't get in your mouth. Right. The, did, see, the law, the law, he's, he's visiting his people. Mm -hmm. That been that been happening in, in uh, Detroit with that lake with the, uh, the Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan, to like you. But he Current. just it's just in, it's it's in uh, Jackson, Mississippi now. Right, <laughs> that's the Lord visiting, man. The, oh. Hey, man, the Lord is terrible, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it might be. Uh, you got it, brother. I was gonna say I got something to back you up go right ahead, there. Go ahead, go ahead. You got it. Um, no, if you're gonna say something else. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, this is the Book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-nine, mm -hmm. uh, verse. <clears throat> Verse 6. Mm -hmm, that's it. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts. That's it. With thunder mm -hmm. and with earthquake mm -hmm. and great noise, mm -hmm. with storm and tempest, mm -hmm. and the flame of devouring fire. And we've been seeing all of that. Not knowing what you said just now, we haven't seen. We've been seeing all of that. Uh, or some of them might say, oh, it's hurricane season, or, or it's something, some such and such season. <laughs> no, it's time for you to get judge season. Right. There you go. Right. <laughs> Time for you to get judged. We even you got second as just... I think you could want to say something. Oh, you got it, brother. Oh, uh, it's like it. Yeah, no, no, it's called too wild. You know, really, like to the blind, to the average blind person that doesn't, you know, doesn't understand the scriptures. Right. They're gonna think. Um, they're gonna start praying to the Lord to, uh, remove these afflictions from them. But you mean really, Jesus Christos. Yeah, right. right. They're gonna start praying to Jesus. That's who they know. <laughs> yeah, it's for for better times, for better times. But really, what's going on is the Lord is visiting the people, you know, with mm -hmm. with all sorts of uh, natural disasters, including uh, volcanoes, man. So this is all the will of the Lord. Because right. the Lord is a power of balance. He creates evil and he creates good. All right. All right. That's it. That's it. He's balanced. That's right. <laughs> but judge, we, judge, you got it. Come, but 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 we, you know, as children of the light, we know why exactly the Lord is doing these things. Mm -hmm. All right, because it's, it's written in the scriptures. Right. And it has to happen. It has to happen. I will finish up what you got. Come on. Uh, it says Second Ezra nine and nine. Mm -hmm. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Right. So this is this is the the ones who are not adhering to the words of the Lord, and that word pity pitiful goes into pathetic. You're gonna be looking pathetic. Because you didn't listen to the man of the Lord when this word was opened up to you. Because we in the great spirit right now, it's time for you to get the word. It's precious in the ancient times and it's precious right now. Mm -hmm. So if you don't take advantage of, of getting the word, because you need somebody to teach you, the man of the Lord are not going to be on the highways forever. When when when, when the destruction comes, we're going to be off the road. You're not going to be able to find this. You're not going to be able to get that understanding, the breakdown. You're not going to be able to get it. So if you don't take advantage of this time, you're going to lose out. Yep. You got it, bro. It says, um, and they that have cast them away, despitefully mm -hmm. shall dwell in torment. That's right. 
Yeah. For such as in their life have received benefits. Yeah, you receive benefits, man. Work, job, get up every day, got all your limbs. The Lord doing that, man. The Lord allow you to breathe, allow you to wake up. Every day above ground is a blessing. You have benefits of the Lord, man, but yet you don't know him and you're not seeking him. You see? Read on. And have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, mm -hmm. while ye, they yet have liberty. Right, this grace period. This is your liberty. This is your time to get it. You see? If you lose this time and don't get it, you're in trouble, man. Read on. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, mm -hmm. understood not. They didn't understood it not, man. You could read that last part and you could break it down. But despised it. Mm -hmm. The same must know it after death by pain. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. Why do you think brothers keep uh, uh, talking about this, these topics, over and over and over? Mm -hmm. That's the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But you got people making a... a Challenges and poor night quill in the pots and pans, cooking it with chicken, mm -hmm. uh, mm. all type of uh, these degenerate uh, uh, challenges that, right. that that the world has been demonic yeah. challenges. <laughs> you know these well, 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 how about the righteous challenge? What about right. that? Right. <laughs> Where is that at? Yeah, con, con, bro. Where's the righteous challenge? <laughs> you know, it, it, is anybody going to make that uh, viral? <laughs> right. Well, will people be righteous? Hey, that's a video, bro. That's a topic. <laughs> right. Where's the righteous challenge? Where's the righteous challenge? <laughs> where, where you, where you want to do right? Right. Where you, as a woman, you want to treat your man with respect, and dignity. Car. You know, <laughs> so you want to raise your children. And uh, the, the the demon bitch came out with the song called uh, "I'm Baby Daddy Free." Oh my goodness. You know um, right. what, what 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 the bitch said though. Uh, uh, I'm a murder. I, I got murder she, on my mind. I'm a, I got murder on my mind. She was twerking in front of Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Oh my! These goodness. are the monsters that 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 that, that, that we the have. Generates, man. These are our women. Get that, man. Uh, that, uh, divine. Jeremiah uh, two yeah. twenty three. Oh my Beat, goodness. Get uh, that. Two twenty uh, somewhere. Right there. These these are our women. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These are the the, the the women that you niggas love. Mm. Jeremiah <laughs> chapter twelve. Poison, man. The, the mind are seared with a hot iron, you know, into the ways of Babylon, the Western, the Western world, man. Their, their mind are seared, man. These women, man, off, man. You see? Uh, uh, what she right, say? Uh, she got debt, the debt on her mind, twerking in, in the front of a, 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 a Planned, Parenthood. Planned Parenthood. These women, them degenerate, bro. Matter of fact, start, start at two and thirteen. Jeremiah chapter two, verse thirteen. For my people have committed two evils. Mm -hmm. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out of cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Mm. Why is he spoiled? Jump down. Now you can jump, jump down to 21. Verse 21. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, mm -hmm. only a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Right. Mm. So the Lord said he planted you, <laughs> you know, he planted you good, man. Upright. Upright. You know, that's why the scriptures say uh, uh, the Lord have made man upright, but they, they sought out uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 different inventions, man, evil inventions, man, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You see? Our people that's one astray. The scriptures say the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce them. You know, you all let these other nations. That's why the Lord tell our people when they was going into the land, don't fall after the ways of these people. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1 and 2, falling at the ways of the heathen, man. Our people following after these heathens, man, chasing after their gods and their idols, man. You see, the Lord says he's a jealous power, man. You ain't supposed to do that. You see? You ain't supposed to do that, man. Walk in the way that the Lord said you must walk. Look for the old path. Look for the old path. That's, that's why the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments so we could be those priests, okay? Those kings and priests, man. You see, to show the other nations that we could be a light to the other nations, man. That's why when you read Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, it tell you how we was given the law, man. This is going to be our wisdom in the sight of the nations. That's how we supposed... You can imagine the Lord gave you this and you... Turn into degenerates, man. What do you think the Lord want with you? Yeah. Huh? 
What the, what the Lord gonna do with you? That's why uh, Isaiah the first chapter say the whole head is sick. Yeah. Get yeah. that man. Get get Isaiah, Isaiah the first one. chapter one man. These people, yeah. man. But but you see, but these voices, the, the our voice and, and, and y'all seeing us on the highway of your heads, is, that's gonna play back in your head when right. all hell break loose. That's right. Y'all going to say, God damn, I should have listened. Mm -hmm. See, you see, it's not going to be a game soon. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, you, you got liberty. You're able to have a little fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it, shit ain't crashed yet, but it's, it will be a day. That's why the Lord say you're dealing with a small remnant. Small remnant, man. You see? Hey, but th that's why the, the spirit been on brothers to say, hey, when, when, it, when it happens, man, don't feel bad for these people, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah said, "Don't lift up a cry. Don't, 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 don't worry about him, cause it's gonna happen. That's right. He gonna get him. Yeah. That's right. You got it. Gonna start at verse. Start at one. Start at one. Isaiah chapter one, verse one. Mm -hmm. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, mm -hmm. which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, mm -hmm. kings of Judah. Mm -hmm. Hear, O heavens, and give ear." O earth, for the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, uh -huh. and they have rebelled against me. Right, so let's go right back to what he said. He had planted a noble vine, all right? How has it turned into a degenerate plant? You see? Right. Read on. The ox knoweth his owner, mm -hmm. and the ass his master's crib. Right, so even animals, dumb animals, know better than uh, some of you jakes, man. Yeah, to not bite the hand that feeds you. Right. You, you Israelites are dumb as hell. Tell you, man. You're dumb. We don't, brother. But Israel doth not know. Mm -hmm. My people doth not consider. Right. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, mm -hmm. a seed of evil doers, mm -hmm. children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. Mm -hmm. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Right. And we read that earlier. They they have forsaken the Lord. That's why the Lord said He's gonna give He gonna give this devil a charge over you, man, to, to bring that sword. Yeah. Cause y'all forget the Lord. You see, y'all forget the Lord, man. Esau give you all a little break. Tell y'all said the pandemic is over. Now all of a sudden y'all just going back to to partying and jumping up in the club and acting like everything is a okay. And you 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 don't have eyes to see that something ain't right. You going back to the same folly to extol folly to the cloud? The Lord bringing that sword, man. Y'all wait. Thing is a game. You got it. Read on. Come on. Verse, <clears throat> verse five. Why should ye be stricken any more? Mm -hmm. Ye will revolt more and more. Mm -hmm. The whole head is sick, mm -hmm. and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. Starting from all the way from the from the from the head tribe all the way down to the bottom to the last few tribes, mm -hmm. all y'all sick, mm -hmm. and it starts with the head. Yeah, that's why Esau Edom manipulated the the Judites, right? Because everybody gonna follow Judah. Mm -hmm. Now all the whole all the tribes all fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why they, that's why they dislike Judah so much because they know the scripture. They know the scripture mm -hmm. says the tents of Judah shall be raised up first. So they feel that they could keep Judah head down in the mud. The longer they could do that, they feel yeah. that they could thwart prophecy some kind, <laughs> somehow, yeah. you know. <laughs> and their evil, twisted mind, you know. But the Lord said He's gonna raise up Judah. The scripture tells you in Genesis, you know, uh, what's that? The forty-nine chapter. Judah is a lion's whelp. Okay, from the prey thou has gone up as an old lion. Who shall who, who shall rouse him up? The Lord's going to rouse him up when the time is right, you see? But it's going to be in the Lord's time, man, you see? But Judah's going to be raised up, man. But it, it, it begins It begins with the, the, the man of the Lord that's preaching this word on the highways right. and the byways. Right. Yes, preaching. Second Ezra 1 and 5, it says, Go thy way mm -hmm. and show my people their sinful deeds mm -hmm. and their children their wickedness, which they have done against me. That they may tell their children's children, mm -hmm. because the sins of their father are increased in them, for they have forgotten me and offered unto strange gods. Right. Am I not even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt mm -hmm. from the house of bondage? But they have provoked me mm -hmm. unto wrath and despised my counsels. Mm -hmm. So, 
that's what's going <laughs> even until this day, man. Mm -hmm. All right, verse eight. It says, "Pull thou off then the hair of thy head, and cast all and evil." Stop. That's just a lie. Read it. And cast all evil upon them, mm -hmm. for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them? And to whom I have done so much good? Right. So the Lord is is it, 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 he getting fed up? I'm telling you, man. This was in Ezra town. How much more now? The Lord right. is is is. What does Scripture say? The Lord is um long suffering. Long suffering, man. Mm -hmm. The the Lord is long suffering. So it's gonna come a point in time where he, the Lord is gonna say, "Fuck it." Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know, going back to Genesis six. Yeah, <laughs> that was the the Lord saying, "Fuck it." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, those times and opportunity we get, man. Yeah, man. You know, and from the book of the Judges, bro, the scriptures speak about that, man. Judges, the first chapter, the second chapter, they speak about how when Israel cry unto the Lord, the Lord sent a judge. Okay, he raised up, you know, and he would deliver them out of any whatever situation it be. Why? When, when that generation die out, they go back to the same thing what? all over again. I mean, what? over and over and over and over again. Different That's judges. That's why the Lord took his name. Right. Because you you people, y'all had the name. Right. And, and Solomon prayed that, you know, if you pray to the east and right. see how people knew that. They knew they could just do wickedness and oh yeah, he gonna bail me out. Right. You know, call everybody right. face the right. east. During the time of the sacrifices, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, sacrifice something. Jake knew that's right. Jake though. Right. Jake yeah. is a supplanter. And that's why the Lord took away those sacrifices. That's why he took it away. When you read Isaiah, actually Isaiah chapter one, read right. on down, he says for that. Yeah, Amos. You know, and, and, and the Lord most importantly took his name from his people. Right. Because you niggas mm -hmm. would still be doing that to this day. Right. Psalms 51 with King David. He said that if, if, if thou wouldest sacrifice, I would have, but thou, thou ain't, ain't dealing with it. The Lord ain't dealing with no sacrifice. He you really, see? you be obedient. Right. Obedient is be, it's better to obey. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who said that? Samuel. Yeah. Okay. So now it's, it's, it's time to be obedient to the best of your ability. Right. Yep. That is time. Because the Lord is clearly angry, man. That's right, man. He's angry. And, and at any minute, see, the Lord don't owe us nothing. We, we speaking about to ourselves, too. Uh-huh. Just because we preaching his word don't mean the Lord can't uh, get us. Right. So we got to walk even on a, a more tighter rope than y'all because we're actually telling you mm -hmm. not to do this. Right. So that means we can't do it. And we know that the Lord hates hypocrites. Right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why our scriptures say, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's right. Knowing the terror, so the Lord, he's a, he, the Lord, he, he he's a Alishaja man, right? A terrible demon-like power. Mm -hmm. Ask the Egyptians. He's the king of terrors. It says in the book of Job. Yep. So knowing these things, that's why we want somebody get uh, Isaiah to like Revelation twenty and six. Okay. We fighting to get um, to go on the first round, man. We don't want to be because we know the lake. The scriptures speak about the lake of fire and all these things. Sword. Death, famine, and destruction, all these things to come before that. You see? We're trying to escape that by, by doing what is right in the sight of the Lord. Okay? Living in the fear of the Lord. <laughs> Abiding in his words, man. You see? Because we want, we want to stand a chance. It's all of the Lord. You know? But at the end of the day, we choose to do the right thing because the scriptures say to give, make uh, 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 your call in the election sure. Give diligence. You see? You go, go ahead with that, brother, because this is what we want. Because remember, the flood, the flood came and took everybody away mm -hmm. and only leave eight souls. That's our call, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is. Yeah. You see? But what they tell you, yo, when you look at the rainbow, you're supposed to think about a sodomite. <laughs> see, you people, y'all got, got the Lord fucked up. Right. Well, y'all go, whoo, we, hey, y'all gonna see how the Lord get down, That's boy. That's right. That's right. Hey, when the, when the Lord, when you read Ezekiel chapter 9. Right, there you go. That's it, bro. When you read Ezekiel chapter 9. Mm -hmm. And he told the angels to go and keep slaying. When you keep reading down on that, uh -huh. Ezekiel was telling the Lord, Lord, you going to kill everybody? <laughs> you see? see the, and he did it before. But he did it before. Hey, man. Except the lack of that time, hey, knowing his man, house. Hey, man, the Lord, the Lord ain't nothing to be <laughs> fucked up with, you man. See? So knowing what we know, <laughs> the scriptures say, uh, uh, tears written a four times written for our, Lord, our learning, right? So knowing that, knowing that the Lord delivered only Noah who was listening, who preached for over 120 years, okay? Only him, his wife, their, his three sons and their wives, the Lord delivered that time. There was the elect of that time. So knowing that, okay, that's called the first death. Mm -hmm. 
This is why we, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh we pray the Lord keep the spirit on us to continue to endure until the end, to keep fighting the good fight of faith, because we don't want a part of that. That's right. You got the scripture, brother. Go ahead. <clears throat> this is the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse, uh, start at verse uh, six, six, right? Yeah. Verse six. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Right. Holy. Holy means set apart. So the elect is a, is a group, a small group of, of men, women, and children. Okay? Read on. On such the second death mm -hmm. hath no power. Yeah, so remember, the first one was the flood. The first death was the water. The flood. Think of those people. They never saw rain at that time. It was only mists. So when Noah was preaching all that time and telling them the Lord is going to flood the place. This ark is being built. Get yourself right. Seek the Lord. You don't think you don't think if if the people in that time was repenting and, and found worthy of the Lord, they was gonna find themselves in that ark? Of course. But they wasn't doing that. That's why the scripture tells you in Genesis 6 it was only evil continually. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got something real quick after you can come. Come, go ahead, brother. On such the second death hath no hath no power, but they shall be priests mm -hmm. of the most high. Mm -hmm. And of Hamashiach God. and shall reign with him a thousand years. Right, because they're going to be delivered, man. That's who the Lord is coming back to save. The elect. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels to gather from the four corners, mm -hmm. the, the elect of his people, man. You got it, Gabar. This is Ezekiel 9 and 8. It says, matter of fact, let me start at. Uh, Nine and five. Nine and four. Four, yeah. God. It says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, mm -hmm. through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You know, because we always stop at a certain point. Well, let me keep reading down on this one. It says, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city, mm -hmm. and smite, let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. This is the Lord speaking to the angels. Right. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Then they began at the ancient men which were in the house. Right. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. Mm -hmm. Here's the point. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left. That I fell upon my face mm -hmm. and cried and said, Oh, Lord God, will thou destroy all the residue of Israel mm. in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Mm. And here's, here's what Yahweh Shimei Yahushai told him. See, the, the angels were, they were killing and slaying everybody. And Ezekiel just was saying, Lord God, you going to kill everybody? Right. <laughs> but this is how the Lord get down. Right. This is what the Lord responded to Ezekiel. Then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. Mm -hmm. And the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness. Don't you see that right now? Wickedness. How much mm -hmm. more wicked is it, is it now? Right. Mm -hmm. For they say, Yahweh have forsaken the earth and Yahweh seeth not. And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare. That's right. Neither will I have pity but I will recompense their way upon their head. Mm -hmm. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai talking, man. That's right. That's right, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. So the, the Lord gonna send them, them deaf angels out, man. Mm -hmm. And he ain't gonna spare, he ain't gonna have no pity. Because when he called, you didn't listen. Mm -hmm. Spirit's created for vengeance, man. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> that's why we fighting for the, 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 what you mentioned, the Tawah, that mark, set a mark upon the mm -hmm. heads of the man that sighed and cried. In the Hebrew, that word is Tawah, which is the mark of exemption. That's what we, that's why we sighing and crying. We want to escape that. You see? I mean, I mean, unless you, Jake, got some type of uh, mythical power where you can fight an angel. <laughs> right. You know? Jake acting like they got powers. Well, 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 you know, when, when the Lord come back, they're going to be able to fight. <laughs> that's how y'all acting. Right. Y'all acting like y'all just untouchable, boy. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Jake acting like he gonna go toe to toe with you, Howard Shot, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like you can right, save right. yourself. 
Mm-mm. Y'all, y'all in all type of weirdness and perverseness right now. They must see when this when 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 martial law is called and he saw start locking down these streets and drawing them into these mm-hmm. these 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 FEMA camps. We gonna see just how bad you thugs, oh, you, yeah. you, you, you gonna laugh dirt bag yeah. niggas are. Oh, you, you gonna be screaming for mommy. <laughs> you, know, you, you got something to come? Come, I got I got something real quick. You got it, brother. This is Isaiah chapter thirty verse nine. That this is a rebellious people. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's Israel. Yeah. Lying children. Right. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Mm-hmm. That's Jake, boy. Which, Especially Northern Kingdom, man. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's you tribes all the way. Salakia, bro. You got it, brother. Yeah, you got it. Bro. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead, you got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Verse 10. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not, not unto us right things. Mm-hmm. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Right. Right, because Israel, man, Israel was given instructions, man. Right, yep. Israel, his, Israel was supposed to be an obedient, holy nation, separate people, man. Yeah. All right? Mm-hmm. The Lord's and, people. Right, the Lord's people. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai's children. Right. And y'all, and y'all are rebellious, all right? Y'all don't want to follow, you know, no order. Don't want to repent. And if you say you're going to repent, you're lying about it. But you know what, though? Y'all are very obedient to your bosses, right? Right. Mm-hmm. They get up soup. They get, yep. they get up really early, yep. you know? Right. And, and, and right they, and early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what, what about the Lord, though? Right. But that's a good point because that's a beautiful point because Jacob say, yeah, I'm a taxpaying American. I follow the laws and I, and I stop <laughs> at the red light and I do this and I do that. Right. I'm a law-abiding citizen. But when it comes to the Lord, right. what? Y'all put him on the back burner. Right. Mm-hmm. We the, the scriptures tell you we all uh, ought to obey the most high. Rather than men. You know, so the most high, you gotta obey the most high first. Right. That's it. Right. The, the Lord is first over all. You yeah. know, it, it, the, but our people put they put Esau over the most high. So that's your God. Right. You you have more on that could come? Come, yeah. They got two more verses. Come. Word for it. <clears throat> Hold on. Come on, get Jeremiah 4, 22 for me, please. I'm going to draw down to 12, get to the point. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, mm-hmm. and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as mm-hmm. a breach ready to fall, swelling out in high wall, whose, break, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Right. Right, so that's going to be the judgment that y'all going to have to go through and, and deal with. But right. that's righteous judgment, right. and it's going to come suddenly. Mm-hmm. All right, just because right now you're in a state of living where you could drive your cars, you can go to work, you can uh, shit, go, on, go on a damn plane plane somewhere. Vacation. Vacation, mm-hmm. order Uber Eats. Mm-hmm. You think you're at rest, but you're really not. Right. All right, what, we, what we're seeing right now is judgment that's about to happen right now, especially, uh, you know, starting with Israel. And then, obviously, you know, these other uh, heathen nations, man. Mm-hmm. But that's but that's just the Lord that has to judge y'all, man. You gotta be destroyed through the sword, man. Yeah. Yep. The same must know that for death by pain. Right. For being stupid and silly. That's right. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22. Mm-hmm. For my people is foolish. Mm-hmm. They have not known me. Mm-hmm. They are sodish children. And they have none understanding. But these are the same people that'll come up to the camp and tell us we're wrong. Right. <laughs> and they ain't got to understand this. They are wise to do evil. Mm-hmm. All these different challenges, wickedness. Right. And, you know, right. Jake, boy, when it comes to wickedness, right. Jake, very savvy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Jake know how to scam. Jake know how to kill people. Right. Very good. Jake know how to do a, a voodoo and rich crap and Santa mm-hmm. Maria. Uh-huh. And they know how to, they were wise in that. Right. But when it comes to being righteous, right. they know righteous challenges. Yeah, they ain't trying you know, to do the righteous know, challenge. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't trying to do the righteous challenge. Yeah. <laughs> it says, but to do good, yeah. you have no knowledge. See, yeah. but Jake, Jake don't know how to do see, but that's why he ain't doing it. Right. Because he don't know. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Hey, come, come. Get out uh, Hosea 4 and start at 1. Read down to 6. But Jake, Jake, Jake had gone, man. The whole head is sick. We read that earlier. We supposed to curse Jake out, man. Yeah, because 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 we, the Lord, want us to curse you out. Isaiah fifty eight and one tells us that. Cry aloud and spare not. So when you Jakes are walking by, Lord willing, you're cut and condemned mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. We're, we're speaking to you, man. Right. That's it. That's it. We are speaking to them first and foremost. 
the nation comes up, we let them know their judgment too. But we are there for our people. That's right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Salvation is open unto you. So that's why we are, they're crying unto you. You see? The scriptures say we have piped unto you. Okay? You have not danced. We have, we have mourned unto you and you have not lamented. We're out there for you. So, hey, ain't going to be no excuse. The Lord said, had he right. not come, you would have no sin. But the fact that he came, you're not going to have the cloak for his sin, man. So the scriptures say, this word shall be preached throughout the world and then shall the kingdom come. So mm -hmm. the scripture also say, have they heard? Right? They heard because this mm -hmm. word went out unto all of the world. Yeah. So you're not going to have no excuse. Yeah. The Lord ain't hearing that. It's going to be death by pain if you haven't repented. Yep, and they talking about this the winter, man. This this might be the winter, dark one. This might yep. be the dark winter for and real. The Lord yep. said, "Pray, pray, pray that your flight be not in the winter, because <clears throat> it ain't gonna be an easy time." That's right. <laughs> you got it, bro. This Hosea chapter four, verse six. My no, no, start at, no, no, start at one. This Hosea chapter four, verse one. Mm -hmm. Hear the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. ye children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Yeah, the Lord hath a controversy. The word controversy. Yeah. See, 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 the Lord. Controversy. That's it. You think it's a game? Controversy. Right. Disagreement. Yeah. It says typically when prolonged, public, and heated. Right. Mm. Let me get some more. Oh, going back to verses. Ooh. Yeah. Against. Right. So you basically, the Lord is against you people, man. Right, because the scriptures say the Lord is not the author of confusion. So if you're going off, mm -hmm. of course, that's a controversy against the Lord. Mm -hmm. It says op op opposing views dispute. Yeah, y'all jinx, man. Y'all got to repent. Uh -huh. Lord, uh -huh. Man, just reading this, man. The Lord is furious, man. That's it, bro. Mm -hmm. One of the words, the synonymous words for it is altercation. Right. Argument. Right. Brawl. Bicker. Disagreement. Dispute. Right. Fight. Falling out. You see? Quarrel, squabble, the Lord, scrap. The Lord not having it. Say the Lord. with the Lord. The Lord not having it, man. You see? That's it. You got it, bro. God. Um, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, mm -hmm. no mercy. Everyone lying, mm -hmm. killing their one another, yep. ain't, ain't giving their brother a chance. No mercy. No mercy. Cold blooded, boy. Tell you. There is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land. Hmm. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out mm -hmm. and blood touches blood. Yeah, everywhere you go is war and violence. Yeah. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall thou... Yeah, they striving with the priest. We are the modern day priests. Right. They, them, they, they kill all the prophets. The majority of the prophets. <laughs> Read on, brother. Verse 5. Therefore shall thou fall in the day... And the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Which is uh, going into Israel, right? The mother. What'd you say? Which is going into uh, the mother. Is, well, is, well, that's, yeah, in certain scriptures of Israel is like it unto the no. mother. Verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, mm -hmm. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, mm -hmm. I will also forget thy children. Right. So you're not supposed to just be a degenerate out here, man. You're supposed to know something about the Lord, you know? 
that's what the scripture say. You have received benefits and you have not known me. You're supposed to know about the Lord's words, his statutes, his commandments. You're supposed to be lend your, give yourself over to reading. You see? The Lord said, Give, give, give attendance to reading until I come. Yep. You know, Ecclesiastes 39 and 1. He that is, you know, uh, 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 giving yeah. his mind over to the meditation of the law, Israel, okay, will be God. occupied in prophecies, man, roughly paraphrasing. So you can't just be a degenerate out here, man. The Lord wants you to look up words, read the, the scripture said that blessed is he that readeth, man, Revelation mm -hmm. 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. You see, the Lord doesn't want you to be a degenerate out here, man. Yeah, well, the scriptures tell you that the Lord is a. Um the God of knowledge, man, and by right. him all actions are weighed. That's right. You see? The Lord gave us this knowledge. There you go. You okay. see? Yep. Wisdom, which is a which is a blessing. Yep. You That's see? Right, and man. the scripture said that the Lord loves none that him who dwells with wisdom. So you can't just be a degenerate over here, man. The Lord don't want us to see you just, you know, just right. be like that, man. Yeah. You know? Oh. But the the whole point of the thing is, is the Lord is visiting this world. And guess what? And, and and you gotta get yourself together, man. Seek the Lord, repent. Got mm -hmm. Acts three and nineteen. But if you don't do it, you, it's either or. The Lord got something for you if you do it, and He got something for you if you don't do it. You see. But just know in the meantime, between time, the plagues are sent, and no man can turn them back. And the Lord is visiting this place, man. You got it, brother. This is Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Mm -hmm. Repent. Yea, therefore, and be converted, right. that your sins may be blotted out. That's what you want, your sins to be blotted out. Read on. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's it, because the scriptures say also, if, if the Most High was to count sin, who would stand? So you need your transgressions to be blotted out, man. Yeah, the times of refreshing. Right. When the Lord come back, that's the times of refreshing. Right, that's right. So when the Lord come back, you were... Your sins better be forgiven before them, them, them clouds. Right. Well, really, it's all set up through the spirit. But if your sins are not forgiven when your house shot crack the clouds, your ass is grass. Mm -hmm. You right. grass. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, so you got a precept? Yeah, I'm, got wrapped up. Okay. This is Luke 21, verse 36. Mm -hmm. It says, I'm going to read this in the NLT. Uh -huh. I'm going to read this in the KJV dinner NLT. Mm -hmm. It says, Watch ye therefore and pray. Always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Mm -hmm. That's right. It says, keep alert at all times and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors right. and stand before the Son of Man. There you have it. So, that's it. That's it. You need a hedge of protection. Always remember... Uh, uh, mercy and wrath come on the Lord. So, hey, <laughs> as long as you know, you've been told, you've That's been right. warned. You've been warned. <laughs> hey, right, that might be the <laughs> right. that might be the title for the <laughs> lesson. Right. Right. You've been warned, man. You've been warned, right? God. So, hey, with that, we're gonna wrap it up. Lord willing, you will edify. We're gonna go ahead and give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom. 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 Shalom.